Nerd Tech. Of course, that's a play on Vault Tech. So I have another Vault Tech themed character here. And she is on the science nerdy side of the house, as you can tell by the little pigtails and the glasses and whatnot. And unlike the current Vault Dweller that we're playing, she is all in on Vault Tech. Absolutely loves them, their technological accomplishments, who they are as a company. She even loves the company colors. And as you can see, Ada stomping around back there with her stubby legs. She just recently got acquainted with her, joined up with her plight, because this character is going to be all in on robots. She does, she's all in on the perk of hacking. She's all in on chemist, the very brainy, very nerdy character. Which is also cool because I did not max out her intelligence score. So I slipped in the perk Idiot Savant because whenever that baby hits, it's going to hit with a whole lot of experience points. Of course, with her higher intelligence, it's going to be rare, but it'll still happen. This playthrough, I'm looking at maybe slower pace. Because she's trying to gather all the necessary equipment to build a robot workbench and a nice little, uh, well, I guess you may call it lair. Laboratory. The laboratory. Oops. Let's go around this way. And I don't, well, I've hardly even had her run across the countryside just yet. What did I do? Where did I go? Okay, I've made the line here. Drumlin Diner. Starlight. Oh, yeah. She did liberate that place, so that will be her lair. Eight people at Sanctuary. I think she agreed with um, Preston to go deal with the people at Ten Pines Bluff. But all that can wait. And right here we're at Watts. And, of course, you know i got to make my usual stop over at Bunker Hill and get the skill magazine. Got to do that. There's also that other quest. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Vault 88 emergency classification. Unspecified integrity breach warning. Any available Vault Tech personnel are required to respond under emergency protocol BT76. This signal will repeat. Well, there we go. You know, I've never done Vault 88. I mean, I already have... Um, the farm girl dealing with settlements, but I have. I'm looking for my pencil so I can write that on her sheet. But I have never dealt with Vault 88 before. I mean, I had a character many, many moons ago actually go there, but. There was that overseer that's a ghoul, I remember that, but other than that, I don't remember anything else about it. Uh, we got our girl. She's going west. And she needs to go this way. And we had a little run in with uh, the ghouls. she have let's see inventory weaponry oh she's starting off she doesn't have nothing does she <laughs> uh no we need Molotov she's too techy for that plasma grenades and they probably wouldn't help her much Hey! You ain't gotta be like that. <laughs> Death by a dome of green. What are these guys fighting about? Well 
Thank you, Ada. Fusion cell and laser weapons. Beautiful. Oh, it looks like they already took care of these raiders over here. Good deal. Uh oh. anything. If anything. Oh, the famous. Oh, the beautiful. A lot repair kit. Oh. Yeah, that's about it for that. Spreading that beautiful gift of fire everywhere she goes. Oh. Nice. Well, hopefully she runs into more robots. That would be beneficial for her cause. The more robot resources, the better. Really? What happened there? Usually Kessler's the uh, gatekeeper. I've never seen that before. That is odd. I've never had a character just given the warning. Just don't cause any trouble. Odd, man. Really odd. Hell yeah. Alright, there's one. Of course, the other one's at Fiddler's Green. Ah. Uh, Heavy there? I'll buy anything you don't need and sell everything you do. Let's see what you've got. You'll find something you like. Everyone does. Fancy lads. Yes. Fancy lads. Right, let's make this quick. Try to make a couple of coins here. Ah, no. Just, just no. What you got, Deb? Right, right, right. 
Nothing. Okay, good enough. That's weird. Even that little um, kid Meg has not hit her up to give her the so-called tour. The tour. All right, where are we going? We're going down, man. Straight down. Let's grab the fungus. Perfect. No! Oh! <laughs> well, it's all in the past now. Oh, wait, Silver Shroud? She's a nerd. She loved comic books and stuff. Get her attention. When evil walks the streets of Austin, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, a slaying in Scully Square. Just a down this alley. Well, well, well. Looks like someone got lost on the wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> yeah, wrong side of the tracks. I I'm just meeting a friend. No business of yours. Uh, perhaps I'll just call him. Now, if, if you'll excuse me. Not so fast, fancy pants. Fancy pants. Your wallet and that snazzy briefcase you're carrying. Hand him over, now. I most certainly will not. Do you have any idea who? Oh, jeez, Louise. Why'd you go and do that? Because he could have made us, that's why. You want to spend another stretch in the pokey? In that's the pokey? It. Let's see what's in this fancy case. Nothing. Papers, no cash. It's worthless. Ah, get his wallet. Like this has gotta have something. All right, all right, let's see. 20 bucks, a driver's license. Oh man, we done it this time. You know who this is? We just wasted Mayor Murphy. What? The Mayor Murphy? What in the places was he doing up here? <laughs> up in Scully Square. A mystery, to be sure. Who said that? <laughs> you have murdered a man in cold blood. Justice must be served. It's the Silver Shroud. Let's get out of here. I ain't afraid of the Silver Shroud. You hear me? Let's go. Come out oh. and I'll do you like I yeah. <clears throat> Death has come for you, evil doer. And I am in Shroud. My work here is done. Or is it? What brought you to Scully Square, Mayor Murphy? A journey that left you dead and Boston leaderless. Why venture? Emerge from the shadows, villain. Face the justice of the Silver Shroud. What will become of our stalwart hero? Find out what happens next week. Another exciting episode of All right. Treasure. She'd like that. Oh, man. These guys are spread out all over the place. Ooh, somebody was busy. Oh, they died of the mole rats? That's crazy, man. It's like crazy, man. Yeah, 
Hey, wait a minute. What's this? <laughs> ah, see? Idiot savant kicked in. Oh, dude, did it again. And every little bet on experience points always helps. Every little bit. Let's try to grab this stuff. Excellent. A silver shroud. I've mentioned it before, but normally I don't do that quest simply because not because I don't enjoy it. It's because of the glitch that appears, of course, Bethesda game. Whenever you uh, have to go talk to um, Hancock. Will the marker even pick up? Freedom Trail? No, I guess not. That's what it's mentioned. And every single time he will not respond properly, so I have to use a um, set stage command. To actually get the thing working. And I wrote it down somewhere and I have no idea where it's at, but before I engage in that quest, I could Ooh, there he is. Before engaging that quest, I could always take a look at it and look up the uh, set stage <laughs> command. Oh man, this thing's popping off a lot sooner than I thought it would be. And her intelligence is like eight. Where's it? Whoops! Yeah. Oh yes. She did make a mistake by just falling right in front of me. She's not um, Miss Hardened Combatant by any stretch of the imagination. I guess that guy was taken by surprise, huh? <laughs> he didn't seem too thrilled to know that she was there. Oh look, somebody opened the gate. That's always kind. And she needs to go ahead and get her a level. Nothing like those perks, huh? You know, perky and such. And what flavor do we have this time? Excellent. Science 3. High tech mods. Well, she's definitely into that. The more high tech, the better. Let's just shift this over to another one. Let's try that. 
Hey, that looks nice. I like that. Well, maybe she shouldn't have gotten rid of those um, those laser pistols. You know, she sold to death. Perhaps not. Because shipments from merchants are expensive. What's in the can? Nothing. I heard somebody fighting out there. And she would really love to get her hands on some dead robots. Those dead robots mean parts. Oh, wait, was that a gunshot? Ada, what did you do? My apologies. I think I've lost them. No, you didn't. You just got their attention. Way to go, Ada. Ugh. Is anybody coming? Yes. Never fear, you're the one that called him over here. This one didn't. What do you got? Okay, ooh, wait, honey rifle. Alright, we're out of here. Run, run! Flee! Still shooting? Well, it looks like it. Do they even know where she's at? Ooh, there's this one guy. May? More like you. Oh. <laughs> Gorgeous. More like you got their attention on purpose, Ada. Woo. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Big John Salvage. For all your salvage needs. Oh, wait. Ooh. Oh, geez, there's another one in there. 
Ah! Well, I wasn't intending to get involved in all this. Thanks, Ada. Where is he? Super Sledge. That's her kind of speed, man. Oh, shoot. Where's this other guy at? Oh, there he is. There's the big guy. Run, Chicky, run. Get up there. Let's take the high road. Oh! <laughs> ah, never a dull moment. Where is... There he is. Ah! Headshot, baby. There we go. Oh, look who pops up. <laughs> ah. Journal entries. It's not going to help me. Wait, that's more. Oh, jeez. More of these guys? Let's grab whatever we can. Ah, wrong way. Where's that gunfire coming from? Ah. Uh, spotlights on her. See over here. Look at this trash maze. Right, where's there he is? Oh, and he's got a human jaw in his pocket, huh? Oh, wasn't there a uh, magazine here? Oh, drugs. Kims. Oh, see these super mutants. Are the ones who took over this little raider paradise, huh? There it is. Nice. I should have put up a better fight. Hmm? Oh, dead guys. Alright, let's grab what we can. Oh, you know she's got to go in here. You know that. This item will absolutely... Oh, wait. Yeah, it's sealed shut. That's right. We have to turn the power off. But it's technical, so she likes all that. Yeah, we still have yet to... Just do. Oh! 
that. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Mint hats. For all your intelligence growing needs. Alright, now where was that control? Ooh, look at that. Ah, wait, secret door. Nah. <laughs> Jeez. Come on. There we go. Yes. Duffel bag. Nothing. Paintbrush. Perhaps he's learned the joy of painting. But where was that? Mm. Oh, I just got to go all the way back around. If I remember right, it was a, um, a power switch. Uh, here we go. There we it. There it is. Right there. There we go. Wait a minute. Dead guy. A most fascinating weapon. My olfactory sensors just spiked. You may want to hold your breath. Yes, Ada. Well, this is place is too cramped. Let's go first person here for a second. There it is. Yes, she's going to get in the way of pretty much everything. Oh, man, look at that. Light bulb, a used oil can. To her, that is treasure. All right, Commonwealth, here we come. Well, I certainly did not intend on making Big John salvage a detour, but since we're here, well, let me go ahead and adjust the lights in this joint. Yeah, sunlight just started peeking into the blinds here in the room that I'm in, so I went ahead and let some of it into the room. I mean, I love to play video games, and I understand how the stereotype is, but I don't particularly want to live like a mushroom. You know, this body that I'm using for this character is the same exact one that I use for the tribal character. It's called Cameron. I figured I'd give it a try out, you know, check it out, see how it looks. If not, I mean, if I don't well, care for it, then I'll just change it. That's the beauty of dealing with body slide. Water and 
expert. She's an expert. That's a cow. Oh, man, we're already at XO, huh? Yeah, give her that fusion core. That's what she's interested in. Look at this dead guy. This is an emergency message to all Commonwealth Army soldiers. Emergency protocol 17 Echo Charlie Niner are in effect. Ooh! She's a tough nerd girl, man. Oh my goodness! Oh, I didn't see her doing that. Oh my goodness. Well, that fight with the uh, super mutants must have really upset her. Ooh. Uh oh. I don't want you to do that. I want you to throw something. This message will repeat. <sighs> Come on. Yo. I got a little personal out there. On this day, she got her hands on a fat man. This checkpoint has been designated as a safe house in case of enemy invasion, and is currently stocked with additional food, water, and ammunition. Where's the ammo at? Oh, there it is. This safe house is for military personnel only. All right, let's get away from that clamoring sound. That racket! Oh wait! No, 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 no. It's um. Go ahead and have her sleep. I know it may seem a little early, but she's had a busy day. I can't believe how aggressive she got with those gunners. That's crazy. Charlie Niner. No, no. Where's the uh, what little sun we're gonna get? I guess it's raining. No, let's give her another outfit change. Let's see what we can come up with. Uh, jacket. Out, out, out. I'm gonna leave that on there. Let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and oh yeah, there's a glasses. Got to keep that. Let's go. Vest. Oops, should have no boots, nothing, huh? Oh, here we go. Oh, wait, did I give her the? Looks like she's ready for action, huh? Let's go ahead and give her 
something else. Oops, it doesn't fit too well, does it? All right, let's go. Well, she looks like she's ready to fight. And she's got places to be. Oh, you know what? I picked up the railway rifle, but I, the railway rifle. Now I can speak properly, but I didn't pick up any spikes. Oh, man. Okay. Not a big deal. Forty-four. Yeah, she's got to do a better job than that. Let's... Oops. There we go. Quick. Scavengers, I mean you no harm. So hey! What did she just say? She said she means you no harm. Idiots. I need to get up there. Or she needs to get up there. Sorry. Hey! Wow. Wow. That was a lot of good stuff. Research test too? She's all into that. Who? What? It's got to be like this, Ada. Why? Why we must live in a world of perpetual violence. Why? Why? Deep philosophical questions. For a robot. to the Robo Factory. Nothing quite like the Robo Factory. Huh? Gonna go around. 
Uh, <laughs> once again, man, these super mutants. That's a good find. Up, 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 up. Well, nobody ever said she was a good shot. Fascinated by all of the goodies to be found. Ooh. Are you? Won't be able to pick this. All right, where's the other guy at? Well, I, I don't want to let you down, dude. Where are you? Oh! There you go. Oh, man, look at all this good stuff. You know, once we do this whole, um... Now, let's go ahead and finish. Yeah, let's do that. Let me stop yapping about it and get to it. Once we do this, I'm just gonna head back to her base. Well, they didn't upset those ghouls over there? Hmm. These guys. These guys. I, I bet this place is gonna glitch again. Last time I was inside this building, it glitched. Hey! of the Commonwealth. <laughs> oh! I've got this funny feeling that they're going to follow us. People of the Commonwealth. I'm here to help you. Why my robots kill you? Alright, wait, wait, wait. Smokes? No. Oh! Protectors. All right. Now, what did that say? Thing say? Rack. Now she's doing just fine herself. Where are they? Well, I guess we're about to find out. Ooh, look, stuff. That'll help her make more robots. The world needs more of that, huh? <laughs> Two flange, yes. Oh yeah, you see the glitch already? Goodness, man. Ooh! Don't take away the parts! Ah. Oh yeah, look at this floor, floor glitch. Look at that. <laughs> Protect horse. I'm not buying it. I'm really not. <laughs> Attention, people of the commons. Sweet. Mmm, look. Floating items. 
What is with this glitchy room, man? These robots are your allies, your protectors, your friends. <laughs> Can she fall through this? Oh, she cannot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait. Your protagonist. Your friends. Whoa, whoa. Protectors, your friends. Oh, this looks good. Nice. Look at that. Yeah. This is. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. 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 Hot plate. And open. Alright, we're back on to this, and this is too advanced for her. She was already through there. And we gotta grab some we gotta grab some robot parts on the way out. Because they fell down below. Did she picked that up now that blew up. Uh, and oh, look at this, man. Look at this. What's going on with this? Let's go. It's time to go. Come on, Ada. I'll tell you what. Let's speed this thing up here. By doing a little bit of that action. I can't believe I forgot to pick up railroad spikes. And I bet they were right there on the table next to the gun, too. <laughs> Typical. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's typical fare there. Okay, Ada, let's come over here to the light. Hey, what can I do for you? I guess not, because this is Ada. Hey, Ada. Did you retrieve something from that robot? Yeah, it had this interesting tech. Intriguing. Let's examine it. Impressive technology. If my analysis is correct, this is a specialized radar beacon. I suspect it's how the mechanist was keeping track of the robo-brain you destroyed. As the next logical step, I need you to install this beacon within me so we can use it to our advantage. Sounds like a solid plan. I'm glad you agree. You'll need to use a robot workbench to ensure proper installation, and my presence will be required. To maintain peak efficiency, I strongly recommend that we remain together until the radar beacon is successfully installed. All right, heard Ada. 
He wants a new piece of tech. Installed. And I'm not going to bore you with any of those details. So I'll go ahead and just call the game here for now and then have them go back to base camp, do all the robo workbench business and get that out of the way. So by the time we pick up this one next time around, everybody will be ready to go for the next adventure. So thanks for hanging out and watching. Stay cool. Bye.